Hey, what's up guys? So look, uh, I want to talk to you uh, a little bit about a Glock that I, I've had for a while. I just never made a video on. Uh, I just recently posted a picture on Facebook. Um, this is my Vickers Tactical Glock. That is not the Glock I want to talk to you about. But I thought it was pretty cool that uh, because it's I've uh, I had this Glock already. I I had five Glocks. I sold uh, three, so I only have uh, two Glocks right now, which seventeen, uh, which is the RTF two, the Vickers, and and this one I, I don't I don't think I want to part with this one just yet. Um, this one is uh, one of those pawn shop finds that I got really lucky on. And it's uh, the Gen 2, but it's really clean, guys. Uh, if, you, if you were to see this in person, you would see that um, the finish on this is uh, really clean. As far as it's got all the, the stippling, original stippling from the factory. It is not uh, like one of those shiny Glocks. I've seen some, some Glocks that are really shiny uh, because uh, the finish has worn off. And this one is really nice. The it does have wear on the slide. It does have a little bit of wear here. Um, not holster wear, just kind of scuffs and scratches. Uh, I did get it at a pawn shop, so you know when you when they load and unload their firearms, they they're not really too too much careful. They're not too careful with it. Uh, came with two ten round magazines. I think this is one of the like early 90s Glock. Two 10 rounders. And I haven't really called Glock to see when this one was actually made. When I got it, it was really dirty though. The, the frame, everything was pretty dirty. It almost seemed like the guy shot it and just stored it. But I, I cleaned it up. I Put a little bit of grease in there. Uh, some of the the factory grease was still on it. You use like right here in the back. You would see a little bit of the copper grease. Uh, you don't have any of that right now. Uh, I cleaned it. The I don't know if I can get you to look inside the bore, but the bore is really clean. Uh, I cleaned it up pretty nice. I'm gonna do this while I'm looking to the viewfinder, just getting blurry. But it's uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, I like that it's it's still it's like new condition. I mean, for a Gen two, this thing is pretty pretty nice. Um, I was thinking of customizing it, but I, I'm, I said to myself, you know what? I'm just gonna leave it stock. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. I think that uh, it'll. Not that it, I wanted to hold its value or that it, you know, will deter it in any way, but, you know, it just depends who you sell it to. But I like the Glock 17, and even though I sold three other Glocks, I still plan to get more. Uh, it's just uh, buying these, uh, these expensive rifles, you have to part ways with something sometimes. Even though work is good, I just, if, uh, if I find a buyer, and I have more than two or one of these things, which uh, right now I wanted to get, you know, as many rifles as I could. You never know what might happen. I know that I can always get a pistol, a Glock pistol, for that matter. But this is pretty cool. It doesn't have a light rail. You know, it's a Gen 2. It's pretty nice. Uh, wish I could get you some really close-ups, but you can see that there's no wear on the, on the frame. It looks really nice. The magazine well isn't beat up. You can tell that they didn't really insert too many magazines in it. The the barrel is shiny because I cleaned it, but it has a little bit of wire there, you see. But this is a different finish. This, uh, this matte finish here is really rough and scratches easy. But at the same time, it's... Uh, it's like a matte black finish where in the uh, where in this Glock here you can see that it's like a little bit shinier finish it's still matte 
but uh, it's, it's a little bit of a shiny finish. Anyways, guys, thought I'd like to show that to y'all. Uh, these are my only two Glocks right now. And I like that it came in this the original box. And you can see the never keep it loading and stuff like that. Original Tupperware box. The Glocks came in. And I plan to keep this one, hopefully. Hopefully I don't have to sell it. But just thought I started to share that with y'all. See what y'all thought. Alright guys, you have a good one.